This video is not financial advice. I am not a financial planner. I'm an entertainer, baby. The one and only ape father in the house. Wow! Let me ask you a simple question, okay? I just, I'm talking to all apes, okay? Whether you like me, whether you like Lou, whether you like Matt Coors, whoever, okay? Teddy Zane, okay. What is the point of our movement? What is it? Just, just a simple question, okay? I like to get everybody's opinion, okay? Like maybe write a comment. What is, in your opinion, the point of our movement? Let me tell you my opinion, okay? My opinion is that we are a group of ambitious, we're dreamers, okay? Retail investors all around the world that want to, first of all, make a difference. We want to end the corruption. We want to beat, okay, these hedge funds. We want a fair Wall Street. And of course, we want the biggest transfer of wealth in history, baby. We want life-changing wealth, generational wealth. But here's the thing, okay? In order to obtain these goals, don't we actually have to own AMC? Like, would you agree? <laughs> Would you agree, right, that to actually be a part of this movement, you have to own AMC, okay? Now, here's the thing. The A Father, over the last uh, few months that I've been in this movement, like I've been in since June, okay, I've had a lot of apes argue with me back and forth, like, you know, A Father, you're not really an ape unless you have at least 100 shares. Or I don't believe that, okay? I want to go on the record. If you own one single share, this is how I feel. I'll even take it a step further. I'll take it a step further. If you want a fractional share of AMC, I consider you an ape. You're an ape brother and you are an ape sister to me. Because you want to know why? You're in the grind with us. You understand? Like you're fighting alongside with us. Okay. So this is just my opinion. If someone doesn't own AMC, they're not a part of this movement. They're not an ape. Because think about it, they're taking no risk, right? They, how could they say that they believe in this uh, stock if they don't own any? I mean, can you just please, look, there's just so much craziness on this on this internet that like sometimes the most simplest, common sense, logical things, you know, just don't apply to people's brains anymore. I mean, how could someone say that, you know, this is the greatest play and it's going to be unbelievable and life-changing wealth and, oh, my God, we're all going to party in Vegas and we're going to have a great time when that person doesn't own one single share of AMC? How come they have the right to say that? They don't even own a fractional share of AMC. So here's the bottom line. Ready? Here's how I feel. I get it. A lot of people like Lou. Okay. And it's fine. Listen to me. You know, people are saying to me, they're making accusations. Hey, father, you're trying to tell people to not watch Lou. No, I'm not. Listen, watch him. Love him. It's fine. This is what my point is. The guy is not part of this movement. He's not an ape. And I just feel, in my opinion, that we should all stick together. That's all I'm saying. Like, you can watch him. You can enjoy him. Listen, listen, YouTube is meant for entertainment. You watch me for entertainment, right? Okay, so so why can't you watch Lou for entertainment? But the thing is, he's not part of the family. You know, you you. I keep hearing people say Lou is part of the family. Is he? Is he part of the family? He's taking no risk. He's not a part of AMC. He doesn't own AMC. He doesn't, in my opinion, if you don't own AMC, you don't believe in AMC. That's it. And it's like, it just amazes me how 65,000 apes, who in some cases have their life savings in AMC or a very large amount of their net worth in AMC, are listening to this guy who doesn't own a fractional share. He owns nothing. Okay, I mean, I don't get it. Like, I just, I think that if we would, if we would actually take the same example in any other case, right, you would agree with the eight father. Like, here's an example, right? Would you go to a doctor, right, who has, like, let's say, let's just say he's a fake doctor, right? He has no medical experience. He, he never went to medical school. But, you know, he's just telling you. He's giving you his word. I'm a doctor. Look, I can't prove to you I'm a doctor. I can't show you any proof. But just trust me, I'm a doctor, right? Would you go on a plane with a pilot who's like, look, 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 
Don't worry, man. just take my word for it. I'm a pilot. I never flew. Listen, I never flew a plane. We're probably going to crash. So listen, I don't know what I'm doing, but just, you know, sit back, have a cocktail and relax. Like in any other case in life, you would want some sort of proof, right? Before you put your trust into someone. But in the case of Lou, you don't need proof. You just take his word for it. He's like, yeah, 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 you know. AMC is going to make all of you rich. AMC is going to be life changes, the biggest play. And then, you know, next week, you know, I don't want to talk about AMC anymore. I'm done with AMC. I'm, you know, I don't want to talk about Wall Street anymore, right? <laughs> then the next week, he's trying to get everybody into crypto. He's like, yeah, man, you know, crypto is the future. Crypto is the future, right? And then everybody was against it. They're like, I'm sorry, Lou. Look, I can't do crypto. I'm, all my money is in AMC. AMC is the only play for me. And then suddenly he gets back at AMC. He goes, you're right. AMC is the only play. Come give me a break. Give me a break. I mean, what's wrong with you people? I mean, you know, did you ever ask yourself a simple question? Right. If Lou is not an ape and he doesn't own AMC, like, like, why is he doing this for? Like, what is his purposes? Like, what, what, what does he want? My opinion, I'll tell you what my opinion is. I think that Lou is building up a gigantic following. And at some point when AMC has the Moaz, he's going to want to take all of these 65,000 people or more into his own play of some sort. This is just my opinion. He's, you know, and then you're going to see, you know, like that song, you didn't see your true colors shining through. We'll see those true colors. And that's what the eight father told you. So listen, do what you want. I warned you. Look, the guy is not an ape. He's not. He's not an ape. He doesn't own any AMC shares. And I'll tell you what, you want to prove me wrong. Go directly to Lou and ask him. Be like, Lou, we can't stand this ape father. He's got a blabber mouth. We want to shut him up. Lou, could you do me a favor? Show us your AMC portfolio. Just show us something. And you know what you're going to get? Nothing. He's not going to show you nothing because he doesn't own nothing. Nothing. He doesn't have a sh one share, a fractional share of AMC, AMC. And we should all stick together. Apes should stick together. When you're listening to people who are giving you their opinions or whatever you want to call it, their views, whatever you want to call it on AMC, they themselves should at least be an ape. I mean, who agrees with me, right? I mean, if that's the case, why don't you listen to like hedge funds? Listen to me. Why don't you go? They don't own, let's say, they don't own AMC either, right? So go listen to people who are shorting AMC. Go watch them too. <laughs> yeah, that's all I have to say about that.